Let's check this one. And again, the shell was slightly here over Milky. Off the floor, we will raise the shell fly. Look at Milky fly. This is going to be tight, going to be close. But the shell slowly building a bigger gap over Milky. Come on, come on, come on! Let's go! Nice shit! Nice mate! Let's go, mate! I love for the ladies, let's go! Nice one, come on! Come on, come on, love Come on, love it Come on! Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! One of the winners from the Philippine team, welcome to Sports Desk, gold medalist, Rochelle Suarez. Hi, Rochelle. Good morning. Congratulations. Hi. Thank you so much. Gold medalist. <laughs> when you hear that, you're going to be happy or you're not going to be sink in with gold medalist in the Sea Games? I'm not going to be happy to sink in with me. It's so overwhelming. Well, it's so I'm, I'm really happy for you guys. You ran, Rochelle, the female 100-meter event. So sprint, right? Yes. Uh, did you expect to, to coming in? Um, all, with all modesty aside, did you expect to win a medal in this event? Um, hindi po. Actually, uh, no expectations. Uh, yun lang. Uh, I just want to do my best during the, ra the race day, the competition day. Was it harder than you expected? Easier than you expected? It's always a different uh, feeling every race. So, yun. Um, uh, of course, uh, I trained for this uh, event, the SEA Games. So, ah, grabe yung training mo, sabi mo sa akin, yes, di ba? Yes, grabe po. So this time, it's uh, parang mas magaan po yung pakiramdam. Eh, paano mag-train ba? Like, kasi it's a debuting sport in the SEA Games. How do you train for obstacle course? Kasi, di ba, when you train for triathlon, alam mo, mag-run ka, bike, swim. Yes. But this, for, for obstacle, because it varies. How do you train for the obstacle course race? Um, that's the thing with obstacle course race. Uh, it's... Uh, it, it's different. Uh, kailangan mo ng endurance. You need upper body strength. Uh, you need uh, a mix of a little bit of everything. So, uh, yun training namin, it consists of uh, running, uh, obstacle proficiency, mm -hmm. doing, of course, the obstacles. Um, I add also climbing for upper body strength. Which yun naman talaga yung sport mo, Yes. Okay. Um, also, uh, strength and conditioning. Mm -hmm. Yon. So, kailangan po talaga, you're an overall athlete. All around, no? Well, yes. balance lang. Hindi lang yung, yung speed, pero yung yes. sabi mo, upper body. Okay, let, uh, as we take a look at some highlights of the competition sa SEA Games, yung obstacle course racing, take us through yung, yung competition na to. Uh, what kind of mindset did you have and your teammates coming in as you saw your opponents and also yung obstacle course na dito pa nga sa bansa natin din ginanap? Um, of course, uh, since the beginning pa lang po nung na-form yung national team, mm. uh, sobrang dream high kami. We really want to get the six goals for our sport as we debut for the Southeast Asia. Tinarget niyong one-two talaga? Kasi one-two eh, di ba? Sa yes. men's gold silver tayo, sa women's and gold silver, tinarget niyo talaga yun? Yun po yung pangarap mm. namin mm. talaga. Yun po. And ito nga, sabi mo nga, going through, you really wanted to bring the six. And so far, we have four. We have four po. Already. And yes. may dalawa pa, tama ba ako? Tomorrow. Opo. Napaglalabanan po tomorrow. Dalawa pa po. Yung, yung kaba factor ba nandun pa rin sa inyo? Or nakahinga naka, na kayo ng maluwag nung nakuha nyo na yung gold medals? 
Sobrang kabado pa rin po kami until now. Siyempre, uh, we have to support our teammates. So, nandun pa rin. Alam po namin na malakas rin yung opponent namin na country. So, nandun pa rin yung kaba. Hindi naman nawawala. Ano anong mga countries yung kumbaga, I know we got the gold and the silver, yes. pero ano yung mga tipong baka may tulog tayo? Um, one of our strongest opponent uh, is Malaysia. Malaysia. Yes po. Okay. So, yun. Uh, matindi rin po yung training nila for this event. So, alam namin na sila yung magiging mahigpit mm -hmm. namin kalaban. When you crossed the finish line, you knew already you got the gold. What was the first thing na pumasok sa isip mo nung... nung uh, Tato na, panalo ko sa gold sa event ko. Sobrang grateful lang po talaga ako. Yun lang yung pumasok sa isip ko. I'm really grateful for everything. Lahat po ng pagod, blood, sweat, and tears po talaga yan. Lahat ng paghihirap namin for the, since the beginning of the year until the end. Parang everything is worth it. Yun lang po yung pumasok sa Just by watching your clips, ako napapagod. So I can only <laughs> imagine your training must be really, really rigorous yes. for you to get the gold medal. Congratulations to the four Thank of you. You, so you still have two more events happening tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. Yung relay? Tama ba ako? It's a five-kilometer uh, run with obstacles po tomorrow. Yun yung individual and then... Individual. Yun na lang po yung last. Yun Men and women. Men and women. Get the gold pa rin na, Rochelle. Yes. Po. Maraming maraming salamat sa'yo. Yes, and uh, you know, the, the, the best of luck to you, your teammates, and to the Obstacle Course team. Again, SEA Games gold medalist for Obstacle Course Racing, Mich Rochelle Suarez. <laughs> and there goes the final buzzer, but don't worry, more sports stories will come your way tonight. You can catch Sports Desk at 10 p.m. with Charles Chu. I'm Andre Felix, and I'll be back tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. right after Newsroom ngayon. Tune in to CNN Philippines for more updates on the Southeast Asian Games. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.